is going to be the only video on YouTube that you're going to see this method. I am the first. I am the first. I am the first traditional window cleaner to actually use full crystal in conjunction with um, <laughs> in conjunction with my cleaning. All right, and we all found out that it's an excellent traditional soap using it traditionally. I already laid the foundation. It just has to catch on. I don't care if it does or not. I share what I know. But all as I know, it works damn good for me. And it works damn good for Silver Bits. It works good, damn good for Jeff Brimble. It works damn good for Fernando. Man, I'm telling you. I got I got to say no more about the subject, but I'm going to be the first to actually take it to the next level and y'all can jump on and y'all can not jump on y'all can listen to it or don't listen to it but I'm telling you uh, because I'm telling you for a reason I know what works and what doesn't work because I've been doing this long enough and I've been sticking and moving baby and I keep sticking and moving and like I said there's always a quicker and better way to do something and just when I thought the high flyer would reach this limit, I just took it one step further. Add that source of water to the high flyer with the water fed wagtail high flyer. Going, I mean, if you can't see the value in that, then, then you're lost. But there's always a better way to do something. And this video is going to show you just that. Top of the evening to you. This is what day is it? Damn, I've been working so much and so tired, I don't even know what day it is. Yeah, yeah, that's right, it's Friday. TGIF, thank God it's Friday. This video is it's probably gonna be tied into a uh, live canvassing job. Matter of fact, yeah, it is going to be tied in. I'm going to do a review on the full crystal. This is really going to be putting it to the test and it will incorporate this into um, water fed pole. Now, just wait one minute. Just listen to me. If you bear with me and just follow this video to the end, you will understand where this is going. Now, this is totally experimental, but in our business, sometimes we got to dabble with things that might be unconventional ways of doing things. Uh, it takes a nutty person to think outside the box to get things done. I mean, after all, they called Einstein a nut. I mean, back then, you had to be a fool to think that you're going to talk to somebody that ain't in front of you, you know, so... Then the telephone uh, was born through, you know, with the helps of Alexander Graham Bell and things of that nature. And needless to say, I don't want to just, you know, talk history and things of that nature. But the live canvassing job that I did, the lady want partial house done. She only wanted the second floor in and out. And I was going to charge 185 and then she's going to call me back later for the downstairs. And it was $370. I took $70 off. I made her feel special. I mean, sometimes you got to shoot a little high and then work your way down because people are going to try to haggle with you on the price. This gives you a little bit leniency and leeway with the customer. It makes them feel like they're, you know, like you're working with them. And I am working with her. Because there's every bit of $370 on that first floor. That's a lot of windows. But seeing as how the fact that she's calling me back, it's not a total loss. You see what I'm saying? That's if she calls me back. But we would like to think that she will call me back.
but I encourage her to, uh, you know, she says she knows a lot of people. So, you know, I'm going to get some business from that alone. And if I don't, I don't. I still made money. You feel me? So what I'm going to do is for the first time, I'm going to incorporate full crystals in with my water fed wagtail wave. And here's how I'm going to do it. Now, if you guys been following me, and I hope some of you have. I know I have thousands of videos out there. Well, not thousands, but, well, you might as well say I upload like a madman. But if you've been following me, you'll know that I've been talking about this full crystals. I have nothing but great things to say about it. And for those who have turned on to full crystals, have nothing to say about good things. Even Jeff abroad over in the UK. Man, he he waited three months to order somewhere in China. Uh, I don't know, what, whatever. But it took a minute to get there. And he was happy. He was pleased. And he thanked me. Well, to not go off topic, I don't never tell y'all nothing that I wouldn't do myself or that ain't good. I'm only trying to just share knowledge and just make the next generation of window cleaners below me and this is what we all should be doing because we want to enhance and we want to nourish our trade with the utmost knowledge as much as possible the more knowledgeable us window cleaners are the more we can help service America and eliminate the war on dirty windows because trust me, there's an end. We'll, we'll be fighting forever. Because not all of us can handle the task and the volume of cleaning every single window in the world. This is going to be a two part video, mind you. But I want to get down to the point of what I'm saying. And I'm excited to bring to you my new concept. Now, traditionally, the way full crystals was meant to be used is you hook it up. Just follow me for a minute and you'll understand. It was made to hook up to a garden hose. Now, you're supposed to pre-rinse with water. All right? Saturate the window frames and all that stuff with water. And then you're supposed to apply the soap solution which comes out with a water hose. I guess if I have to say it's like a 50-50 ratio. Alright. So. This formula was designed to leave spot free results. With tap water. With TDS in the water. I don't know. And see with different states. There's different levels of TDS. So, I don't know how they gauge that concept that it's going to work with all TDS areas with the total dissolved solids in the uh, water. Now, I'm not going to just break that down and because that's their, that's on them. They're the ones that determine that. You know, all I know is that it does prevent spot-free results to a certain extent. But on filthy windows, it just it just won't cut it. So here's my here's my logical thinking on the subject. Now you know we all know that there's a debate. Some people prefer to do first cleanings traditionally, throw up ladders and do it by hand because the filth is just imp impeccable. All right. Now there's others that say that. You can do first cleans with water-fed polling. And yes, this is true. And I'm about to explain to you why. Now, depending on your setup, this is crucial. This is crucial to attacking overspray, things of that nature. Reach It, Perry from Reach It has already, already addressed this situation. There's a bronze wool pad. There's different pads you can switch off. This is new technology here. So 
If you guys aren't up on your game, you better get up on your game and you better know the fastest way to get the job because you want to maximize your profit margin and produce efficiency and still have the same results that your customer deserves. All right? So, back to what I'm saying about the full crystal. I am going to take the concept of what saved me time and money and speed up production is that water fed system portable that I could walk around any establishment and clean 206 small windows about roughly 130 large windows I'm just you know throwing things out there I'm going to take that concept all right and I'm going to put it on my water fed pole put the loop on there and I'm going to have the solution my pump sprayer on my gunslinger belt buckle uh, whatever I'm going to have it around my waist this is how I normally work when I'm doing it on my route work now today I mean not today tomorrow when I upload the video, stay tuned so you can see the results of what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply full crystals. Because keep in mind, when you do that, you spray that on and you let it sit for 10 minutes. That solution is it's like an acid. It dissolves everything on contact. Now, I can't say the same thing for bug poo. And, and you got to use a scraper for that crap or uh, a pad. But it's up to the individual to inspect your work before you decide what method you're going to do, whether it be traditionally for first cleans or water fed pole, if you can get by. But there's ways that you can do it. And to save on water. Now, with if you have... Uh, a tank of you know reverse osmosis and things of that nature then this doesn't apply to you guys it does and it doesn't if you're running low you can stretch it by doing this method but for me I'm using my backpack okay so that means I have to supply my own pure water so that means the more I save on the source of the method I use to provide pure water for that backpack, the more profit margin I can make. So I'm going to save on water. This is one thing. Okay. So what does that do? That means less scrubbing with the pure water, especially on first cleans. Now, when you apply the full crystals to two windows, now, if you do one window, with the full crystals then you go to the next set of windows you know one window you got the top top window and the bottom window if you go to that and then once you saturate that with the full crystals then you go back now I'm turning on my pure water on a water fat wagtail wave and I'm scrubbing less and I'm eliminating the guesswork of wondering Am I going to have drips coming from the frames? Okay, because this full crystal is going to dissolve any solids, any particles, any dirt. This is why when you don't scrub a water fed, if you do using a water fed pole and you don't scrub a window properly, you will get water drops that dried on the window and stuff that bleed it from the frame. But with the full crystal, it eliminates that cluster of solids that actually leave that water spot. If you can understand what I'm saying, what it does, it, it disperses it. It disperses it so it's not cluttered together in a teardrop or a circle of water that had solids in it. It kind of breaks it down so it's, it's, it's not, you know what I mean? So if I'm using that and I'm following up with pure water and the way that it was meant to be used with a garden hose, 
with all that TDS in there and it still works, what do you think it's going to do with pure water? You feel me? So not only am I saving myself on water, I'm saving myself on scrubbing like a madman on first cleans. So I'm going to show you what is going on and how I do things. And this is going to be exciting. And this is going to be history in the making. Y'all going to want to stay tuned for this. Okay. Because this is a spot free soap. If I had to put it in, that, in those so many words. A spot free soap. So. You. 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 Fit, you, you hey. I ain't got to say no more. I'm telling you man. I figured out what I'm going to do. Now under normal circumstances. With the uh, traditional way of using a full crystal, you have a reservoir for the soap. Then you have water. It's the same concept with the water fed pole, except I have a separate line for my soap. And I'm not contaminating my pure water because I don't know about that part just yet. Maybe in the near future, I will dabble with that. But one thing at a time. You know, I'm, I'm going to give it to you in baby steps, you know. I don't want to overwhelm too many people because people's attention span is not that long. So, I hope you made it through this video because I know a lot of people's attention span is not going to make it through this 15-minute video. But this is important because this is history in the making and I got a feeling that this is going to work. And when you're on that level of cleaning and enthusiasm with your business... You just know what works and what's not going to work for you. All right? So, Mac and Frack Peace, peace, peace.